Hello girls, gays, and non-binary babes. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a reading vlog or weekend vlog, whatever you want to call it. I have Mondays and Tuesdays off from work. Well, regular work. I do have a dance class tonight. But I figured we would vlog it because I'm just kind of relaxing. I've been doing a lot recently and next week i have three days off in a row because i'm getting my fingers tattooed and i can't work right away after that so i took as many days off in a row as i could so yeah i'm really excited about that but this week is gonna be like relaxing catching up on things i've been meaning to do kind of which is a version of self-care, you know? Right now, it is Monday, it is like noon, it's 11.15. I woke up like at 11, I think, before 11. Um, and I'm currently going to be going upstairs to our like game room computer area. And I'm going to be building a like library in The Sims, but I'm building it because I'm building like a mini miniature library to put into my bookshelves. Um, so kind of like a diorama thing. I don't know what they're like actually called, but I'm gonna be building it from scratch, kind of, most of it I think. Some of it I probably won't be, but I want to get like a almost blueprint of it. So I'm gonna be going to The Sims to do that because then I can make like a 3D kind of model of it. So that'd be cool. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be doing that immediately right now. Uh, I've got a couple books I'm gonna be reading. I will talk about those later. Um, but before we get into all of that, we have a message from our sponsor. Hello friends. As some of you may already know, for the past few months, I have been a partner with Anna Luisa and I've been talking about their jewelry and all that good stuff. And I am back once again to talk about Ana Luisa and all of their jewelry. So this month, obviously it's February, it is Valentine's Day, and this year for Valentine's Day Ana Luisa is all about self-love. And I think that's a really cool stance to take on Valentine's Day because a lot of people think, oh it's for couples, it's to buy each other gifts, whatever, but Valentine's Day can be about self-love and I really really like that. Part of my self-love routine every single day is my jewelry. My jewelry is a staple, it makes me who I am. My nose, I get <laughs> so many comments on my nose and my ears and things like that that it's it's a part of me at this point and I think a lot of people who wear jewelry a lot can say the same thing. So these are some pieces that I wear on the daily um, and these pieces are things that make me just feel more me. I feel complete with them on. I feel like I'm presenting my best self, my truest self when I'm wearing them and when people compliment me on my jewelry it feels like they're complimenting me as a person. and. Maybe that sounds a little egotistical, but it's really nice and I really love hearing that. Um, I love getting compliments on my jewelry and I love talking about jewelry and sharing my jewelry experiences. I just love Ana Luisa in general. I think their whole business is really, really great. They support small creators, they are very environmentally conscious, and they produce quality jewelry that isn't going to break the bank and if you want to practice some self-love this month then you can celebrate by getting up to 25% off your Ana Luisa order. Any codes you need and the link to their website will be down below so please check that out if you are interested. Thank you so much to Ana Luisa for partnering with me. It has been a blessing and I absolutely love your stuff and thank you for helping me practice self-love by making me me. So, I'm currently reading My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante. This is translated from Italian and it is about this woman's um, relationship with her best friend. And it spans three novels 
and I've heard that it's very good. One of the like blurbs on the back says, my brilliant friend is one of the more nuanced portraits of feminine friendship in recent memory. And I've really been liking books that focus on female friendships and stuff like that. So I really wanted to read this. I'm currently on page 107. So hopefully there are a little over 300 pages. I'd really, really like to finish this today. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I am probably gonna start the, oh, what's the title of it? I got approved for an arc of it on NetGalley. And I just cannot remember the name. It's one of, oh, here it is. The Brides of High Hill uh, by Nevo. This is the next book in the Singing Hills series and I absolutely adore this series so I'm really excited to read this one I'm probably gonna charge up my Kindle because that's upstairs I'm gonna charge that up while I build my little library in the Sims and then by the time I'm done it'll be hopefully charged enough and then I'll probably read some of that and some of this and I'll finish this tomorrow that's probably gonna be the game plan but we will see um, my Class tonight is not until seven, so I have like seven and a half hours to do this, and then it goes until nine, so um, I'm free after that, basically. So, oh my gosh, I know this is runny. I'm really excited, and I hope you're excited too for a new vlog. And let me know in the comments if you want a vlog next week when I get my hands tattooed, and I can kind of talk about them and pain and vlog it and stuff like that let me know if you want that i don't know um but yeah i am gonna go get my library built and i will see you guys in a minute right oh, this I is, think. Okay, not yeah, even that. not real this is fiction this is just a dramatization yeah, yeah. Uh, Hello everybody, it is late tonight, uh, it is 1.30 in the morning, it's now Tuesday technically, um, <clears throat> sorry if there's weird ba background noise, I'm running my dishwasher so that's what that is, also the lighting is kind of off, I'm using my one lamp, it's like a light source right now, but anyway, um, I have been reading more, I'm kinda let go and see if this works, okay, yeah. I've been reading more of My Brilliant Friend, I'm on page 182, and I'm really liking it, it's like a little boring, mm, but I don't know. I like the vibe though, I don't know if that makes sense. Um, I really like the whole female friendship thing, and... <clears throat> kind of the intricacy with which we're going through the main character's childhood and each kind of moment. I just really like it. It's kind of hard to explain, but I'm really vibing with this. I also started The Brides of High Hill, or whatever I said it's called, um, on my Kindle. Is that the name of it? Yes, The Brides of High Hill. I am... 58% of the way through this and these books are usually about like 120 like less than 150 more than 100 pages so I'd say probably like a solid 60 to 70 pages read of this in theory um well more than that because I read 58% so something maybe a little higher than that I don't know um plan is definitely to finish this tomorrow, The Brides of High Hill. Hopefully I can also finish My Brilliant Friend. Um, we will see. I am going to stay up probably a little bit later. I took 
Before I went to dance, I took like a three and a half hour nap. I don't know, I guess I was just extra tired today. So I'm probably not gonna be able to sleep well, so I figure I might as well stay up a little bit later to read. Nice hair on my face. Um, so yeah, I actually got quite a bit done today. I folded some laundry, did some dishes, and finished cleaning up my kitchen because my kitchen always ends up a mess whenever I have, like if it's a holiday or if my mom comes to visit, it just always ends up a mess because I don't take care of it while things are happening and then things pile up and it's a big whole thing. But it's clean now and that's what's important. So I feel like I can breathe again, so yeah. Um, anyway, the game plan for tomorrow is read a lot more i don't have anything planned so i will update you guys in the morning i'm gonna read a little bit more and then go to bed so i'll see you guys later hello friends it is tuesday and i have like not done much at all today i'm gonna be honest it is 2 30 and i woke up around 11 because i went to bed late but literally what have i done today not much i've read more of my brilliant friend i'm now a little past page 200 so probably won't finish this today it's just really like not a whole lot happening so we'll see how i finish but i don't think i'm gonna continue the series just because i am i feel like i'm trudging through this like, I'm enjoying it, but I just feel like <sighs> it's slow going. I don't know. I've not read more of The Brides of High Hill. Um, I took my Kindle to bed with me last night, but I did not. I think I was just too tired to read while I was in bed. Yeah, I'm still the same percent. So, <sighs> yeah. The plan for today is definitely to finish The Brides of High Hill. Um, right now, like I said, it's 2.30. I'm probably... I'm going to read a tiny bit. I'll probably read some of this. And then around 3 o'clock, I'm going to go and play some Sims. Because I can only play... I have to make dinner tonight, so I can only play for like two hours at that rate and then i have to come down and make dinner so i'm giving myself like a time limit on the sims because i get a little out of hand with it but yeah so round three i'm gonna go do that then i gotta make dinner and really most of my reading gets done at night anyway i feel like that's when i'm most relaxed and in the reading mood so that's gonna be the vibe um but yeah, we're really just relaxing today. Um, might watch a movie later. I might see what is on streaming. Um, see if I can get a Netflix trial because I really want to see Society of the Snow. But I don't have Netflix and I'm not going to pay for Netflix just to watch that. So yeah, uh, see what we can do in that sense. Um, anything else? I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, oh, that reminded me. I do have to wash my hair tonight. Can't wait. Um, but it is getting a little gross. Not gross, but like a, a little tiny bit greasy. And I hate when it gets greasy even a little bit. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah. So I have to oil my hair. And I don't know. I'll probably figure all that out later. But yeah, for right now, I'm just gonna read a little bit, go play The Sims. I will update probably when I'm making dinner or something like that. I don't know. We will see, but I will see you guys in a minute. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for you right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so washed out. Hello, everybody. It is now like 11.30ish, I think. It is midnight. I need to go to bed soon, like right after I film this. So, <clears throat> it's 
it's midnight. Um, and I've simultaneously done so much reading and no reading. Um, let me explain. So, I went upstairs, played The Sims for like an hour, laid down for a nap for like two hours, and made dinner, whatever, good times. And then me and my husband watched Society of the Snow. Um, that was a whole thing. Um, I don't think I finished watching that until like 9 o'clock. Um, fantastic movie. If you haven't seen it yet, you need to watch it. It's so good. Um, it's on Netflix. It's nominated for an Oscar. It needs to win that Oscar. Absolutely incredible. Um, that's all I'll say about that. But <clears throat> I haven't read any more of My Brilliant Friend. But I did finish the brides of high hill twice so i don't think i've read any more of this one no i haven't okay so the brides of high hill let's talk about it so i finished it the first time and i was like what was that about i don't remember um for probably like 70 percent of the book i don't know where my brain was because I could not remember any of it and I went to read the reviews <clears throat> to see if like other people were confused about what was happening because I didn't realize that I had just zoned out for half the book um and everyone's talking about how it was this amazing like gothic dark creepy story and I was like I would have loved that so I sat down and with no breaks read from beginning to end over again and I ended up giving it four stars um, I really liked it believe it or not um, once I actually could follow what was happening um, for some reason I think maybe during like some of the few early chapters I zoned out and then during the later chapters it, I couldn't follow what was happening because I like didn't know who these characters were they just seemed to be coming out of nowhere so yeah if that happens to you just know you're not alone and listen it needs we need to bring awareness to this tragic thing that happens of just zoning out and forgetting what you read and it ruins the whole book for you but luckily this book took me like an hour to read and i was able to just start it from the beginning and read it again Ooh, and then really enjoy it so yeah Ooh, this bitch <laughs> ridiculous jasper's behind me hi boba but yeah anyway i am gonna head to bed um i feel like this vlog this vlog has been kind of like not great but i haven't vlogged in so long so i feel like you should forgive me I just think that you should so yeah I would really like to get back into the swing of it though so let me know if you'd like to see that more of that um, I do want to vlog next week my tattoos and talk about those so yeah um, but I think I'm gonna wrap it up here thank you guys so much for watching thank you again to Anna Luisa for partnering with me for sending me stuff I love you guys and once again, all of the information you need is down below in the description box. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a nice comment if you liked the vlog. Or if you didn't like it, tell me you didn't like it, but be nice. Um, or tell me what you'd like to see me include. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.